Hello, I'm Lydia Camarillo. An attorney representing Richard Lee Richards and his family has filed a civil rights lawsuit against the city of Tucson and the former city police officer who shot and killed Richards. That attorney filed the suit yesterday, months after then off-duty officer Ryan Remington responded to a report Richards, who was using a wheelchair, was suspected of shoplifting from a Walmart. Tucson police have said Richards ignored Remington's order to put down a knife as he tried to enter another store. Remington ultimately fired nine rounds at Richards. Our goal in filing this lawsuit is to seek some measure of justice on behalf of Mr. Richards and his family. Kiga 9 obtained a copy of the filed lawsuit. It doesn't show a specific amount of damage money being requested. Bradley says he would let a judge or jury decide the amount. A shooting at some student apartments left two men hurt, one of them in serious condition. The incident happened Sunday morning at the Yugo student apartments at First and Tyndall. Residents say the apartments do have security at the main entrance, but residents and guests are not checked for weapons and there are other ways to get in. Uh, around the other corner, there's another stairwell, so those two are not guarded by security, but any, anytime someone goes through like the front lobby, like they get their ID checked and they get signed in and stuff. We've asked apartment management to comment on the incident and its security, but have not heard back. Take a look at your forecast. Widespread showers and storms are forecasted for today through Thursday with isolated strong to severe storms and flash flooding possible. Storms will become more isolated Friday and Saturday before dry conditions return Sunday. Temperatures will remain near normal through the end of the week.